Hello, my fellow chatterers and book devourers, and anyone else who's popped in because you're curious or you're lost. I'm Chatty, and welcome to my channel, Chatty the Mad Chatter, where we are filming one of my favourite videos to film, which is my TBR game. So we'll be playing book ladders and bookworms to work out what I'm going to be reading over the month of November. So firstly, I'm going to take my little gimmick one shot because I do this all in one take. I don't do editing because my ancient laptop, which you are going to meet again, um, is not able to cope with publishing edited videos. So we just go with the flow and embrace the chaos and I feel there will probably will be more chaos in this video. We will see what happens when we play the game. But cheers everyone! <sighs> right, I'm going to go on to explain the rules of the game. I will put timestamps in, so if you have watched a few of these, you know what, you know, how it all works, feel free to skip ahead um, to where I am doing, talking about other stuff, because I've got one more thing I need to talk about before I go into the roles, and that is my punishment from my September TBR. So, rules first. So, I have the draft version of this game, because no one really expected me to uh, have actually made the real version yet, because hey, when am I actually going to do that? Um, so I have got essentially, these are worms, they just very much look like snakes because I obviously hadn't gone for bookworms yet. Um, if I land on one of those, I pick a worrying worm card. If I land on the bottom of a ladder, I get to go up the book ladder and I pick a lucky ladder card. So the worm card, worrying worms look like this. And in those, there are much more challenging prompts for me to try and find a book and they make it a lot harder. I also have the upside down, no not upside down, I have the one ring card. So this is where I give someone else the power to choose a book for me, like any book. Any book, I have to read that book that month. So at the moment Tiffany from Towering TBR has that power um, because she was the first one in the comments of a previous video to shout one ring to rule them all um which means whenever i pull this card she gets to choose the book so um i will put this card in the pack i have quite a few worrying worms but i'm just shuffling i'm going to just pick out two of them to mix with the one ring so it's got a one in three chance of being pulled so here we go i have I have just three Worrying Worm cards, move the others out the way, I have no idea what they are, but one of them will be the one ring and um, it will all be nicely shuffled. Um, and with the Lucky Ladders, I have the Feagle card. So this is based on the Terry Pratchett books, The Wee Free Men, um, and the Nag McFeagles are these like little blue pixies that love fighting, drinking and stealing. So it's the stealing part here, I get to steal a book from under my bed. So under my bed, when I buy books, I put them under my bed and I have to earn them by doing healthy things, whereas I can just steal one. I just get to have that book on my shelves and the possibility of reading it. But if I steal it, obviously, in this game, it goes on my TBR and I have to read it. So <laughs> that's that one. Um, and then with the rest of the Lucky Ladders, um, I get to basically <laughs> um, have prompts that are a lot kinder to me. Um, so it's much more things like, you know, a book you really want to read or a book by your favourite author. So it's things that are really kind of quite easy to do and give me a lot more choice in what I pick. So again, I'm just going to pick two um, and I will put the others to one side. So I have a higher chance of possibly getting that eagles. There we go. Lucky ladders and worrying worms. So I then, for all the other colourful squares in here, um, I will have a prompt challenge for each of the colours and I change it each time I play it. Don't fall down, hooray. Um, so we have green is theme card. So on each of these cards, I have a theme like animals or nature and I have to find a book that like has that on the cover in the title. Um, I have a 30 seconds prompt. So these prompt cards are more difficult than the Lucky Ladders, but not as hard as the Worrying Worms. But I've got 30 seconds to find a book that fits that prompt. I then have my seasonal shelf. So I've now moved in to my cozy autumnal shelf. So I've got 
things that I want to be reading over the next sort of, you know, October, November, December. I've got series I'm working on on there. I've got potential books that I want to read on there. So I go and pick a book from that shelf. Um, genre and age range. I have different genres and three age ranges, adult, YA and middle grade in here. And I pick a book and have to read in that genre or in that age range. So those are these prompts. We'll just pop them back over here. If I can do it without everything falling down. Hooray, lovely. And on the first roll, I can move on to whatever one of these I want to. I could, I have four different ways to choose and I can go either clockwise or anti-clockwise. But once I've made my decision, I then have to continue to go in that direction around all three of the squares. Um, for the first square, I just use the one dice. But once I move on to this second square, I can use two dice. Not I can't use, I use two dice. So there we go. That is the game. So punishment for failing my, um, I can't remember what month it was, September, <laughs> failing my September TBR. Oh dear, this is going well already, I feel. So yeah, September, <laughs> I did not read all the books on my TBR, um, so therefore I had to pick out a punishment. Um, so I had a great time several months ago where I got um, people that I chat to in the Shelf Space Discord to suggest rewards or punishments for me for whether or not I complete my TBR. And they came up with some great ones. So I pulled out a punishment and this is from Pondering With Books. And I have to read a book from the first booktuber that appears in my sub box. Watch the most recent Unseen video. Whichever book they mention first, I have to read. <laughs> So there we go, that's that's what we are gonna be doing now. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, we're gonna go onto my YouTube and we're gonna see what I'm gonna get. I'm a bit nervous because <laughs> I don't I don't read horror and it's spooky season and I feel a lot of people are reading horror. So I'm a bit scared, a little bit scared. Um also this is slightly within reason. I am on a book buying ban um for both the sake of my bookshelf and you know I think everyone is now in a tighten your belts kind of what's your pennies situation so I will get it from the library if I don't already own it which is possibly unlikely because you know it could be anything um unless I can find a real good bargain on world of books um so if there is you know, if it's like, if Babel comes up, I don't really want to shell out 20 quid to read Babel, which people are saying it's amazing, but it's not a book that's calling to me. So it is going to need to be, so I might do book one, book two, book three, and then the chance of me being able to get them for me, the world of books or the library, is going to be better. So that's what we'll do. Oh, and if it's like fifth or something in the series, I'll read the first book and that will count. Okay, so here we go. This is my lovely ancient laptop, Albert Brumpton III. So we're going to go onto YouTube, which might load up at some point. <laughs> okay, it's thinking about it. It's loading. Apology for the camera work. It's just really not enjoying. <laughs> not enjoying focusing on this. Oh, for goodness sake, come on. Come on, very slow, slow computer. Yeah, this is this is from 2007. I got this. So it's it's very old. It's amazing. It's still going, really. Bless it. Okay, we have boxes. It's coming. So I want subscription. There we go, subscriptions. Okay. Okay, let's see what comes up. Okay, so we have the Booker Prize winner prediction by Katie Books. Okie dokie. Let's click this. 
the quickest booker prediction video you have ever seen. I want Treacle Walker to win. Yeah, you know what? I said it. But the one that I really wish wins is O William, because I am absolutely here for the meme. Okay, I have no idea what Treacle Walker is. <laughs> um and I I have no no I've no idea. So um Book, book a prize winner books is probably not what I would go for. They sound a bit on the intimidating and scary side. So, um, so, so that's quite intimidating and scary. Okay, Treacle Walker. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to get hold of. I will find out. Okay, it does appear to be listed as something to search for in my local library. Let's see. View, or there are 11 copies so it, it sounds like I will be able to get hold of it um oh it is available oh it's available at my local at my local one so there we go now let's have a little bit of a look about it Okay, it doesn't sound as scary as I originally as I originally thought. Um, it sounds like it's a very interesting character described as a wanderer and a healer and an unlikely friendship between him and a young boy introduced to a world he could never have imagined. So actually, that does sound quite interesting. So there we go. Thank you, Katie Books, for bringing Treacle Walker to my attention. And I'm going to add that to my list. And um, hopefully I'll go get it out of the library today. Well, that was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be and not a horror. So that pleases me. Also, I think it says 160 pages. So that's quite nice. That's quite nice. So there we go. The first book on my TBR is going to be Treacle Walker, which I'm going to try and find from my library. So let's now crack on with the rolls. And oh, here are my dice. <laughs> where, where have my dice gone? <laughs> Right, okay, we can do this. Let's, I need the camera back to film the game so you can see me rolling. Remember to turn it on as well. Good plan, right. And I have turned it on, hooray, because my September one was all sorts of chaos, not in a good way. Okay, so we have a four and we have a teetering on a two and a five. So let's just, I'm only supposed to roll one dice for this one. So let's take the four. Oh dear, we're off to a great start. Right, what can I get with the four? So if I go green, okay, okay, so basically it's either pink, green or yellow because I have to move four regardless of which way I start. So what do I fancy? Hmm. Well, I always find the theme ones really fun, but the 30 second prompt ones were also quite entertaining as well. Let's go for a 30 second prompt because that was a good time. So, so prompt cards are coming out to play. <laughs> and I need to, I read the card and then I'm gonna clock the clock. And um, I have 30 seconds to find a prompt. So we could be running around the house. You, we don't know, we never know how this is gonna go. It's, it's anything. It could be absolutely anything. And I have shuffled the cards because they were terribly badly shuffled last time and they're still doing it now. Right, 30 seconds. Wait, oh, new series. Amari. <laughs> there we go. That was that was pretty instantaneous, wasn't it? Yes, um, I have been wanting to read this book for such a ridiculously long time i was hoping like the past think the past two months i've been hoping to try and get it into my tbr but because of like buddy reads and finishing series she, she wasn't coming she wasn't coming but now is her time it's your time amari i'm going to read you and i feel like i'm just gonna love her because everyone who reads this loves it and people who don't like middle grade like this book so i'm very excited and in case you weren't sure, in case you've been asleep somewhere, Amari and the Knight Brothers is a middle grade fantasy by B.B. Alston. And that is all I'm going to tell you because apart from she's searching for a brother, I don't know anything about it and I don't want to because I just want to have fun with this. And also look, it's got sparkly, I don't know if you can see, but it's got sparkly edges and 
I love the end pages of like this shattered, shattered sort of broken crystal. And then look how pretty we've got sparkly stars. So yes, I am so excited. I'm so excited to be putting reading Amari and the Night Brother. So it's my first book for the game. Second book for, so technically it's the second book because I am reading seven this month because of my punishment. Move the card out of the way so I don't do it again, should we have that. And let's move on to the second roll. And uh, because I could choose the colour, I totally forgot to move the counter. So here we go. One, two, three, four. We'll turn the B round so it's in the right direction. There, okay, roll in. We have a four. One, two, three, four, and that is pink. And pink is a genre or an age prompt. So I need my genre cards. And let's see what I get. Okay, I have got this one and it is, ooh, it's a crime or a mystery book. Mm. so I have been having a little think about this one and there are some adult options but kind of really feeling middle grade and as you know I have been wanting to finish my series so I did start the adventures on train series I can't even remember when it was sometime in the spring um and there's quite a few books in that series so I've got quite a bit of reading to do to get myself up to date. Um, so the next one I need is the Kidnap on the Californian Comet. And um, I've just checked, checking my library to see if they've got it because I don't own that book. So I need to borrow it from the library. So let's check and see. Also, they do have it as an audio book. So that is also a possibility as well. I might see if I can also get hold of the... Oh, there's 14 copies so let's let's see if it is also in my local one oh, it's in one of my local ones let's see if it's in same as okay yep it's in both lovely I might be able to get my hands on that as well so that's two trips to the library so Harrison Ford is a Harrison Ford <laughs> is not a boy actually no, Harrison Beck is a boy who, um, he went on the Highland Falcon Thief with his uncle, Uncle Nat, who is like a train journalist. Um, and he ended up solving a mystery on there about the Highland Falcon Thief. So this one, we have another train and another mystery to solve. So I am keen to kind of get all the cozy mystery vibes, to get all those middle grade vibes. So I'm looking forward to picking this one up. Let's do the third roll. Now, are we going to get off this first square? I mean, uh, a four would be nice to hit that lucky ladder. <laughs> um, yeah, we can't, because there's only one snake. Snake. <coughs> it's a bookworm. There's only one bookworm, and it's not going to get me there um, within within a dice roll. So, let's. I'm going to go for the blue dice this time. Let's see what the blue dice does for me. It's given me a three, so we're still on the blue square. Oh, and it is another, sorry, one, this is terrible camera ship. One, two, three, we're just gonna have to go with it. Come on, B, you're on, you're on this yellow square here. Turn around, that's it. There we go, yellow. Okay, so it's another 30 second prompt, which is always fun. Um, I'm also aware that we're now three books into my PBR. None of my buddy reads, <laughs> none of my buddy reads are on here. Um, Hey ho, <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right, 30 seconds, read, then time. Okay, got this card and it is an author, a recent author I want more of. Could not be more perfect because I can put a buddy read on here. So I'm gonna go for Sabbath to here. So I am reading A Reaper at the Gates. I'm not reading A Reaper at the Gates. I'm reading an Ember in the Ashes series. I seriously think I just have not engaged my brain today at all. Anyway, reading An Ember in the Ashes um, by Sabata here with lovely Anitha from Anitha Garde and Stacey and Miss Winchester Reads. And there's a few other people on there in the chat. 
Um, so this is our November one that we are reading. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this series. Um, I'm having a good, I'm having a good time with it. So we will see how it continues. But hooray, this is the first time I've properly managed to get this on my TBR. Um, because Ember was sort of in a possible book off -a -thon and um, Torch Against the Night didn't get on the TBR. So there we go. We're, we're going well. It's going well. Okay. It is time for the fourth roll. So it's a one or a four to get me off this square. But we could still just stay on here. We don't have to leave. It, we could just stay. One. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Lucky ladder. One. Marvellous, and that is anti-clockwise. There we go, get you in the right direction, B. Okay, it is lucky ladder time. I'm excited. I'm shuffling, I'm just shuffling. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's not the Fiegel. <laughs> is there a new series you want to start or a series you want to continue? Yes, there is a series I want to continue. Careful, please don't fall on me. Okay, I'm gonna to have to stand up to get this because it's gonna fall. Okay, there we go, stay there. Nope, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, I think we're safe, I think we're safe. Ah, <sighs> so. Um, Vidania and I have been doing a cog along where we are reading the Cog Hut series by Peter Bonsai, which is a middle grade sort of magical realism, Victorian, steampunk, um, lots of kind of like slight sort of penny dreadful vibes. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So this is the third one. This is Sky Circus. If you feel like joining us, then please feel free. Um, if you wanted to kind of catch up or just read like slightly more behind the wheel, that's absolutely fine. There is a chat going on at MJ's Discord. Um, so come and have a little chat with us in the chat. It's great fun. So the first book in that series is Cogheart. And that tells the story of Lily and her friend Robert and a mechanical fox. Here he is, called Malkin. And um, there are adventures. And that's all I'm going to tell you. But I'm very excited to, again, another one. I haven't managed to fit on a TBR, so I'm thrilled to actually have it on a TBR this time. Okay, we are nearly done. It is fifth roll. So two dice this time. Ooh. So I have a two and I have a four, so a six. Come on, little bee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, another lucky ladder. Woohoo! Despite the 30 seconds from being on here, I actually haven't been running around the house too much like a crazy. It actually worked out quite well for me so far. We will see. Okay, lucky ladder cards going for this one. And we have, oh, choose a book with a beautiful cover. So let me go and have a look at a selection. So I do think this Kanja Woman cover is very beautiful by Athia Atakora. As is a hollow pox, the hunt for Moroccan crow. I love that fire. And then over here, we have The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin, which is also very beautiful, as is Under the Dust Jacket. Look at all the butterflies and flowers. So pretty. Also, this library book that I have, The House of Shells. I really love that cover too. Hmm, decisions. And this is the downside of the lucky ladder because I then find it hard to choose what I want to read. <laughs> oh, I guess between two. I guess between The House of Shells and um, Holly Pox over there. <clears throat> House of Shells because I've got it from the library, so I'm going to need to return it. Um, it is a mother middle grade, so that also ticks that box that I'm wanting to read more middle grade. Um, and I really don't know anything about it. I've just been intrigued by another book and The Children of Quicksands that that author has written. Um, the author is Aoife, Aoife Troawa. I 
think I'm, I'm, I'm probably not pronouncing it at all correctly so apologies on that um and the other one is Hollypox because I have been meaning to read that for so so long um I buddy read the first two with my mum and we had an amazing time and we just never got around to like doing the third one because we just had a lot going on and mum now wants to read wants to reread the other two before she can get to that one but I have said I would like to read it before the end of the year so hopefully hopefully she she can join it join me so yeah I'm not sure out of those two I don't know which one to go for and I've got one roll left and I don't know what's going to come out of it <laughs> so I just feel really indecisive I think I'm going to go hollow pox because I I really have had it for such a long time. Or should I go the House of Shells? Oh, I don't know. Because if Mum's not ready, that could be a bit awkward. Hmm. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the House of Shells because it needs to go back to the library. So let's go House of Shells. House of Shells. The House of Shells. There we go. It's it's here. It's going. It's going. Done. Okay, that felt like the hardest choice to make. <laughs> right, let's do the final roll. Okay, final roll. I have a two and a six, so that's eight. Let's see where the bee goes. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. Ooh, okay. Okay, Worrying Worm. So it's Worrying Worm. We're going to head on a Worrying Worm. Ah! There's still one more buddy read I haven't got in here. <laughs> but it didn't have a beautiful cover, so there are beautiful covers of it, but I don't have it. I suppose it's okay. But anyway, I didn't choose that one. I didn't choose that one. Right. Am I putting off? The worrying worm. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am putting off the worrying worm. Tiffany, this could be your moment. I've given you a one in three chance. Let's see what I get. <laughs> it is down now. Okay. Okay, I'm picking. Okay, it's not. It's not the one ring. Sorry, Tiffany. It's not the one ring. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> a book that has a set number of words in the title. I haven't chosen what that set number is, so I'm going to just pick a number between 1 and 10. 10's a bit harsh. Do we even have book titles with 10 in them? Let's pick a number between 1 and 6. That seems more realistic. And then whatever it comes up with, that's what I need to find. A number two number card is missing, so I've turned a seven into a number two. Five. Book. Five words in the title. Okay. So I've decided five is a rubbish number <laughs> for books with those many words in the title. Um, the, the Golden Fool definitely does not fit the bill. Um, unfortunately, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noel does. But I am not reading that. <laughs> I'm not reading that right now. That would just make me all kinds of stressed because there's no way I'd be able to finish it. Nature of Witches is four. Oh. The Shadow of... The Shadow of the God. Okay. Wasn't on the plan. I was going to read it next year. Originally, I was going to read it this year, but it wasn't fitting in because I was trying to finish so many things. But I really just feel like Oathbringer is just not, it's just not ready to be read yet. It's still there. I was hoping maybe, maybe I could possibly, I, I just, I just wasn't sure if it was Oathbringer's time or not. And that's one work, so that couldn't work. So The Shadow of the Gods is a possibility. It's a possibility. I will see. I will see. <laughs> what else have we got? I mean, the hollow, hollow pox 
is is too, it's too many words. A hollow pox, the hunt for more can grow is six. So it's just, it's just too many. So I'm going to go upstairs and see if there's something else. But the shadow of the gods is a possibility. There is a possibility. So I was wondering, having suddenly seen these, it's like, oh, it's the next Percy Jackson book I need to read. Um, unfortunately, The Battle of the Labyrinths is the fourth one I need to read, not the third. Um, so that's not going to work. Oh, I've not really come across any five word titles. The Girl Who Drank the Moon is six words. This is really hard. This is my seasonal shelf. <laughs> um yeah um that one would have been great but <laughs> read it <laughs> that's got four once we were witches has four pages and co has too many tilly and the book wanderers if i didn't count pages and co is only four but if i count pages and co then it's seven and again yes the uh ember in the ashes series a reaper at the gates would also have been great but it's already on the list, so we can't do that. Oh, uh, Tricky Times. And, yep. Yeah, no. Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea has too many. What have we got over here? Excuse the uh, mess. This is this is the messy bit where I've just got... I'm running out of space, so I'm just propping books up on the floor. Magician. Oh. A Street name but that could work ow this i've had on my tbr for a really long time because i've borrowed it from my friend and still have not read it so that could be a possibility so could that secret life yes the secret life of bees also a possibility okay yeah the hollow hills is three i figured <laughs> i figured it wasn't long enough okay cool so I have two more possibilities though, so that is cool. Okay, so I finally have three choices of books with five words in the title. Um, the Shadow of the Gods, um, The Secret Life of Bees, and A Street Cat Named Bob. I'm going to not include the lovely Shadow of the Gods, purely because I know that when I read that one, I want to the following month read The Hunger of the Gods. Because I've read The Shadow of the Gods. I really, really enjoyed it. It's John Gwynn. I really enjoy his books. So I want to be, like, reading it at the best time for me. Um, and whilst I'm still in the middle of lots of other series, I I want to make sure I'm immersed in that one. So I'm going to... Not that one. That is, It's not the right time to read it yet. I want to read it and fully appreciate it. So that leaves either The Secret Life of Bees or A Street Cat Named Bob. Both strong contenders because Secret Life of Bees is on my list that I made of books that I want to reread this year. So that would be working towards that, which would be cool. I really can't remember a lot about it. Um, Street Cat Named Bob I've never read, but it'd be great to actually give this back to my friend. So I think we're going to go for A Street Cat Named Bob um, so that Lenka can eventually have her book back. So there we go. Okay, so this is book pile and I'm putting in some placeholders oh. so this is what I need to read to earn a reward so we have um treacle <laughs> treacle something that I can't recall the title of that I'm gonna go see if I can find <laughs> which was my punishment to read the first book you saw on book subscription, YouTube video thing. Treak or something is that one. Um, and then I got Amari, whoop, Amari and the Night Brothers. And then I have Mystery, um, Kidnap on the California Express, which I'm gonna find from the library. Um, A Reaper at the Gates, Sky Circus, the House of Shells and a street cat named Bob. But I also need to add, oh, I also need to add this one. Where is it? There. Please don't die. Bob. I also need to add the Golden Fool as well into that. Let's just throw a hob on top to make things interesting, shall we? It's possible. It's possible. And I don't know when the live show for the Golden Fool is, so 
we'll see how it all goes but uh, I'm excited to read all these books um I'm still slightly apprehensive about the treacle one just because it's not my normal thing um I think I'm slightly intimidated if you put the word book a prize in front of it um <laughs> but it'll be maybe interesting for me um so yes here we go this is what I'm going to read in November it's good it's good I'm enjoying the amount of middle grade I have in here that makes me very happy I've been wanting to read a lot more middle grade so psyched I've got four four on my TBR so yay thank you so so much for watching everyone if you have enjoyed this video and you like the vibe of you know someone mumbling and totally forgetting their words and whatever I mean I think some of my other videos have been better than this one this one feels chaos like lazy it feels like lazy chaos it doesn't feel like fun chaos I feel like I'm very low energy but hey ho it is what it is um but if you like the vibe feel free to subscribe there there I have a playlist of the the book games um so you could watch others if you wanted to and um, if you have enjoyed it please give it a little like because that's always nice and please 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 do chat down below if you don't want to say anything you could just do a little book stack emoji so I know you were here um and if you have read any of these or you're interested in any of them please let me know because I would love to talk about books with you guys because that's what we do here we love to chatter away about books i hope you have a fantastic reading month and a happy halloween bye bye